What's up, Internet? This is the Wolf, and welcome back to another episode of Wolf Watches. Today, I'll be bringing you the next episode in Season 2 of Camp Camp. Episode, I believe this is Episode 10? Yes, it is. Uh, Space Camp was a hoax. So, uh, we're getting to, uh, to a story about uh, camp, the Space Kid now. He doesn't have a name, does he? <laughs> well, uh... Obviously, as we know of uh, Camp Camp, it says they specialize in every camp available, but obviously that's not true. Uh, or if it does, it's a very, very low-budget version of it. So maybe it's uh, camp, the Space Camp Kid just trying to, trying to up, up, uh, up the program, uh, I, as lack of a better term for that. So let's uh, go ahead, dive in, find out. Uh, Dale, do you read me? Yes, we do. You're really annoying. Maybe if I use Morse code. <laughs> SOS. <sighs> <laughs> Roger that. Wonder what that meant in Morse code. Morse. Gotta look oh, that up. No, we're stuck in the gravitational pull. Ow! Oh, sorry. A booster rocket. Ow! Oh. <laughs> That was painful. Uh, Bax, this landing is tricky. I'm gonna need your help. I told you, I don't want to play your dumb space game. It's that dumb, it's space. The final frontier. Your final frontier is gonna be flipping burgers at the drive-thru. <laughs> what do you mean? Mm, I'm saying there's no way you're ever going to space. Just give it up already. Sure I am, Aww. that's why I'm here. You don't actually go to space at space camp. You eat astronaut ice cream, you get spun around real fast. How stupid can you be? That's not As someone who has is. gone to space camp once, and well, actually I went to. Come no, on, I did go to space camp. No, we only have one wet floor sign, and it's already in use. That's just Can't remember if I went to aviation to challenge to or space, space camp or both. No, I'm upset that a you think it's possible for a shitty camp like this to send you to space, and b that I have a shitty toy in my already shitty potatoes that are now in the shitty floor. Well, one, I think you owe the quartermaster an apology. Those potatoes are his specialty. Gonna need that wet floor sign. And two, well, I think your phrasing could use some work. Max is right, little dipper. You're not actually going to space, but we are going to have the most fun space activities of any space camp out there. What? Now let's see here, what did we have listed? Space facts, huh, got a whole book of those. Space food, can do. Zero G training, um, sure, we can figure that out. And send your child to, to space. space. Asterisk. Space. Now you see kids, when a piece of information has an asterisk, that usually means it has a caveat. I'm sure it says, no caveats here. Your kid will go zoom, straight to space, <laughs> your money back, plus extra money. We'll film it and send you the footage, too. What? Uh, Gwen, I think we might be in trouble this time. Like, for real. All right, what is it? What's wrong? This gosh darn brochure says we have to actually send Space Kid to the actual moon. Okay. But we can't send him to the actual moon. Or any moon, for that matter. What are you suggesting, then? I hate to say it, but we're going to have to fake a moon landing. <laughs> okay. Really? I figured you'd object or something. Nah, I mean, that sounds Why? like the kind of stuff we do around here. <laughs> For anxiety. <laughs> All right, let's go deal with Space Kid. <sighs> We've got to deal with Space Kid. I know that's One of these days, I will get this darn song down. And there we go. <laughs> just push him in the water. Now you just keep an eye on that weather. We need those guys to be clear. Roger! Okay, construction team, how's it going? Terrible. This is a stupid idea that won't work in a million years. Is the moon actually made of cheese? Because if it's not, look, I'm just saying I already brought all this cheese. It has to, Gwen. 
we can't let any camper down. Besides, we have a solid plan. While I keep Space Kid busy with some good old-fashioned activities, all you and our crack team of volunteer campers have to do is finish constructing an elaborate moon landing extravaganza that will not only enrich our dear camper's life, but look convincing enough on film to keep his parents from suing. Hey, I'm gonna eat Easy. some of this cheese. No pressure. It'll be great, right, kiddos? The greatest illusion of all time. I'll be known worldwide, you know, in specific circles. Oh no, I think I see a rain cloud! Oh wait, no, that's just a normal cloud. My answers. Whoopsie, <laughs> better go tend to our aspiring astronaut. All right, kids, let's get back to work. Nerf, astronaut is spelled with one S and you know it. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. If David gets his way, then Space Kid's never gonna chill out about space. It's okay, guys. I have an idea. We're gonna have to destroy space. Or we try yeah. aversion therapy. If we can somehow get him to associate space with discomfort, it could make him drop the whole thing entirely. So we don't have to stop David's moon landing. We just have to make it scar him for life. Okay. <laughs> Not like that. I've got <laughs> no, a better no. idea. Put the knife down. All right, Ooh. let's get started. <clears throat> I have here the official Camp Campbell space paperwork. First off, name. Neil Armstrong, sir. Right, your name is Neil Armstrong. I'm named after my great-grandfather. Uh-huh, of course you are. Let me just write that down. Let's space see here, kid. got some pretty standard questions. Height. This many. Weight. This many. Blood type. Red. Gender. Earthling. Race. We have to beat the Soviets. That's the spirit. <laughs> now, how about some <laughs> trivia? Yay! First question, how many planets are there in the solar system? Eight. Uh, nope, sorry. The book says nine. Oh, you must be counting the dwarf planets, too. That gets pretty tricky. So, eight plus the five no dwarf planets, uh, sorry, Pluto, plus uh, possibly hundreds of others. Did I get it right? Uh, sure. David! I forget who's lactose intolerant. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. That's, uh, that's hey there, good. space Whoa, kid. Oh, hey, Max. How's the training going? Well, we haven't really started training yet, but, uh... And yeah. that's exactly why I'm here. We gotta get you ready for zero gravity. We do? Oh, oh we do. But, uh, how are we gonna do that? Well... And there he goes. Whoa, Martian. Well, hello there, Max. Have you seen Space Kid? We need to make sure he goes to bed. Yeah, he's on the bottom early of the lake. Sunrise launch tomorrow. It's four in the afternoon. And I'm out of space activities. Don't worry, David. I'll be sure to let him know. Very expired space food. Those are all the things he likes about space. Probably. Well, thanks for all the training, Max, but uh, I'm not feeling so great. Yeah, astronaut training will do that to you. That's why I've got some nice, powerful sleeping medicine to make sure you sleep soundly through the night. Oh, well, how much should I take? All of it's probably good. Oh. Thanks Any time, buddy. That would probably kill him. Good morning, my little astronaut. Uh... All right, everyone know their jobs. Yes, improvisational theater. An entire play where the lead has no script. Groundbreaking. <laughs> Guys, I'm not feeling too good. Can we play space another day? Space waits for no one. Yeah. So you ready, Space Kid? Space Kid? Space Kid? Space kid? Oh no! It's working! Are you ready, sir? I'm ready! <laughs> He's probably having like a seizure or something right now. <laughs> it sounds like he's having a fever dream. It sounds like he's going to fucking space! Three, two, one! <laughs> Oh my god. That's not good. Your Damn. Bone breaching the atmosphere. Somebody, he sounds like he's buying it. It's working. Cue the next phase. All right, Space Kid. We're about to begin the landing sequence. Oh, no. 
Your nav computer or some bullshit is malfunctioning. <laughs> no! Oh, shit. <gasps> Damn. Nice. What have you done? Do you realize how much paperwork I have to do for a dead camper? Don't overreact. Wait, you've had to do that before? Oh my goodness, what's <laughs> that? Dun da da da! Vision command, I've made it. With findings like these, I'll surely go down in history. <laughs> command, I appear to still be suffering some distress. Uh, uh. He's alive and well. <laughs> no! Well, he's alive. Wait, <laughs> what the hell is that? Neil Armstrong, we're picking up heat signatures. What? We are, <laughs> men, men. <laughs> we are aliens. We will consume your brain if you come to space. Give up on your dreams and save yourself. Yeah, space is our turn, motherfucker. <laughs> That's probably what. I've come in peace, Moon Martians, and I hope that we may work together for a better tomorrow. Think we scared the space out of them? I don't know, but I'm getting bored and caring less. <laughs> Take him back to shit. <laughs> they did oh it! Gosh. Space Kid, are you okay? Are you finally sick of space? I. I. I love space! Yeah. You see, Max, when your heart is in the right place, it's okay if you fib a little, it all works out. Is that a good moral? Why no, it's not at all. Re Gwen, do you know what this means? We did it! Is this what succeeding feels like? I've never felt it before. It's not great. at this camp. Now all that's left to do is to send his parents the tape. So, where, where did you set up a camera? Face! I mean, do you know Photoshop? Three, two, one. <laughs> hey, there you go. Congratulations, everybody. You faked the moon landing. And there you go. Oh, oh, there's an extra cre extra credit scene. Now what? Yeah, actually, he brings up a good boy. What do you do now? He achieved his dream. Now he's got to find something else to do. <laughs> uh, well, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good episode, and I wonder if this will carry over to the next, uh, next one because. He achieved what he set out to do. What else is there? <laughs> Alright, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Camp Camp with me. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what the next episode brings us. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share your favorite parts of the episode. So until then, this is the 84th Wolf, and I'll see you guys next time.